KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone, we at KP Gate classes are starting the new batches for Gate 2025 architecture and planning. Now this one year program which is starting from this January and will go on till the next January, this one year program will, keep, will be a comprehensive preparation for your Gate 2025 examination. And this video, uh, we will be discussing few important points which can kickstart your preparation for Gate 2025. So to begin firstly with the importance of the examination, let us briefly talk about the exam details. Uh, however, we do have separate videos on discussion of all the details of the gate examination. You can keep following our YouTube channel. But this examination gate 2025 will be a 100 marks examination. If I tell you about the brief on the gate exam, it will be a 100 marks examination, which will be a three hour duration exam. And this is scheduled to be conducted in the month of February of next year, 2025. So we still have a good enough time of one year. Now, who is eligible for this examination? Who all can write the exam in the next February 2025, the gate examination? All the third years, fourth and fifth years of architecture program. And also those who have completed the BR course, third year, fourth year, fifth year, plus those who have completed the course of BR are all eligible other than that the third years and the fourth years of B plan course and also those who have completed the course will all be eligible for the examination uh, again even civil engineering graduates and even third and fourth years in civil engineering course BTEC civil engineering are also eligible for gate architecture examination uh, so uh, in brief if I tell you you can start writing the exam many students of ours in the past also have been writing this examination so many students take this decision that uh, they want to pursue masters in a good college probably in an IIT and for that they start writing the gate examination right away from third or fourth year as well. So it is up to you to take a decision on that as to when should you start writing the examination but this is with respect to the eligibility for the exam of 2025 and uh, the marks now I told you it is 100 marks now the examination will be having four sections or four parts in all you will be having general aptitude part which is something which everyone has to write. Then you have the common part that is part A, which has the maximum weightage. So general, general aptitude has a fixed weightage of 15 marks. And part A, which is basically the common part for everyone, that also that has the max, that's the part with the maximum weightage in the gate architecture examination with the maximum weightage of 60 marks. Of, uh, from which you will be having 39 questions basically and there is a detailed syllabus given on the official website of GATE also for the uh, each of these parts. So part A that common part will be having the maximum weightage and that is common for everyone who write the examination. Other than that you have part B1 and B2 from which you can select any one B1 or B2. You will need to attempt any one. B1 is architecture, B2 is planning. Generally, students selected based on their background. However, it is not a mandatory uh, point that if you have done your BR, you should attempt architecture part. Or if you do B plan, you should attempt plan. There's no such rule. Anyone can attempt any part in the examination. However, generally people of architecture background do select the architecture part. People with background in planning do select the planning part. Now, irrespective of which part you select, architecture or planning, it will be having a same weightage of 25 marks from 16 questions. So if I tell you about the number of questions also, general aptitude will be having 10 questions. The common part will be having 39 questions. And the uh, part B, that is architecture or planning, will be having a total of 16 questions. So it is uh, in these three hours, you will need to attempt 10 plus 39 plus 16. That is a total of 65 questions you will need to answer, which will give you a weightage of 100 marks. So that's in brief about the pattern for the examination of if you are preparing for this exam gate, gate 2025, if you're targeting and if you have decided that you want to get into the best possible colleges with it or have an opportunity to get into the PSUs through the gate examination or if you want to pursue your PhD and for that you're writing your gate examination irrespective of what your end outcome is and if you have decided that you are preparing for gate 2025 then you can get in touch with us so you can also see the uh, this in the description of the video you can find out the contact number of us you can reach out to us our batches which are starting soon will cover all the parts including the general aptitude part the common part and the architecture and planning part we have a comprehensive preparation for all the parts of the examination 
for this complete one year so we'll be dividing the available time across these subjects and we try to cover it in at least two to three cycles so that even if you are not confident on some subject you can have a repetition of that particular part and we'll have a revision towards the end as well so that way you will uh, have a possibility of staying ahead of others in the preparation for this examination uh, so that's with respect to the importance of gate examination the eligibility brief on the pattern of it now the question comes before you start preparing for any examination it is important for you to know the target what exactly is your target out of 100 marks how much should you score if uh, if, I, if i if you want to have a brief idea on that i can take you through the cutoff for the past few years gate 2024 is scheduled to be conducted soon in the month of february 2024 so we don't have the data for it uh, once the data official data is out after the examination all that information will also be put onto this youtube channel so stay subscribed to our youtube channel if you're planning uh, to write the gate examination so <clears throat> the cutoff for the past few years in the 2023 it was 33.7 marks uh, the, uh, the cutoff can go as high as 41 marks also like in 2019 so there's no fixed cutoff it depends on the relative performance of the students which ultimately depends on the difficulty level of the paper now you need not uh, so it, it doesn't matter if the question paper is difficult or not what all matters is how well you are going to write the examination with respect to the other people who are writing the examination and for that you'll need to have a good preparation you can also see this data of gate 2023 which is from taken from the official portal of gate 2023 the distribution of marks you can see majority so this is basically a bar chart plotting out how many students on the scale of 1000 2000 and 3000 how many students fall into which range and you can see maximum number of students fall into the range of 11 to 20 which is below the cutoff so you can understand from that itself that the difficulty of the paper so it is not something which is very simple and it is not something which you will clear even without preparation. It for sure requires efforts but with good efforts, with correct efforts in correct direction, it is very much possible to have a wonderful rank in the examination and we have been proving that time and again for the past few years. So uh, you can see 11 to 20 maximum students then 21 to 30 which also by the way is below the cutoff mark of 2023. These were the maxes. So you can see maximum students who have attempted the examination have not even qualified it. And you can see 41 to 50 or 31 to 40 that range you have good enough number of students. And you can see that 51 to 60 there are only 134 students. And there is only one student with more than 70 marks. So what is your target here? If you want to have a double digit rank which is good enough to get into IITs, now it depend on, depends on the course but in general to get into the top colleges you will need to have a double digit rank in the gate examination which probably will be possible if you are targeting a score 55 plus. So it depends on the difficulty level at all. In 2023 it was that way. It was basically around 55 or so, 52, 53, 54. So starting from that, that's where double digit rank started out of 100 marks. So scoring those 55 plus marks or if you are having a, a focus on getting single digit rank then probably you should have a target of 60 plus marks. If that that's what your target is, you should start prepare, preparing for your course as early as possible and put in efforts in the right direction by using the correct resources. Now as far as the resources is considered, how to prepare, what to prepare, when to prepare, you can leave out, leave out those logistical parts of the preparation to us. We are here to help you out to clear this examination with wonderful rank and wonderful score. All you need to do is put in time and efforts in the right direction. Now, uh, so, so that's a brief on the cutoff and also the marks which you have to target for. If I take you the, through the structure which we are going to follow at KP gate classes. Now, uh, if you check the official syllabus, there are there is a syllabus for the common part, a syllabus for the architecture and planning part. Three parts, uh, each of it has a total of 13 sections, so, uh, around say 7 sections in the common part, 3 sections in the architecture part, 3 sections in the planning part. That's with the respect to the official syllabus. But if you go through the official syllabus, it can get confusing sometimes. For instance, if I give you, if I point out to some examples, the point what is applied is clearly mentioned twice in the official syllabus. You will come across it in the architecture part, you will also come across it in the common part. Other than that, transportation, some part of it is in the common part, some part of it is in the planning part. Uh, if I give you the example of say, for instance, climatology, some part of it is in the common part, some part of it is in the architecture part. So there are a lot of subjects. Uh, which can fall into multiple parts now it can get confusing if you just stick to the official syllabus and check those 13 sections and try to cover in that manner it can get confusing sometimes so we with our experience have 
consolidated by taking into account the past uh, patterns of the examination, the recent changes in the examination and also the official syllabus which has been recently updated from the year 2022. But taking all these into consideration, we have created a comprehensive list of subjects. So our preparation will be subject wise. Like for instance, water supply, even though it is written two times in the official syllabus, we consider it as a single subject. For instance, transportation, some part of it is in the common part, some part of it is in the planning part, but we take it together as a single subject. However, our faculty will be guiding you with respect to which parts to concentrate on if you are focusing more on the architecture part, which parts to concentrate on if you are focusing more on the planning part. However, if you are taking this good enough time of one year and starting your preparation early, you need not get into those minute aspects. Like I told you, it's only 25 marks where that difference comes into picture, but majority of it is in the common part, 60 marks of weightage. So it is always you will be shared this complete analysis of the subject wise uh, mapping of the syllabus like for instance we have created this list of for subjects which covers the entirety of the syllabus common architecture and planning part and we also have mapped it along with the common architecture and planning syllabus the details of it will be shared with you once you enroll into the classes you'll get all these details so we'll be following this particular structure in the course of our preparation not to get confused on the intricacies of which part which subject falls under uh, so accordingly are all the resources, the classes, study material, test series and all the resources which you have will be aligned on the same pattern. So you will be getting a, a, a complete set of 10 books along with a set of in cards for your preparation for this examination. So if I talk about our study material, we have uh, upgraded our material with respect to the updated syllabus and also have created this set of in cards which basically is a set of memory cards which comprises a set of cards where you need to study one card per day and you will learn all the important aspects which you have to remember for the examination. So those things which you have to be remembered that has to go through a memory card set and that's where we have prepared this complete set of memory cards and other than that even our study material all the study material sets are uh, so all the subjects like for instance if you take up this book architectural design it covers the past gate questions of that subject it covers all the content you will need to study so a comprehensive compilation of the complete aspects of the syllabus along with the past gate questions into it that's what you'll get into this get in the study material set in addition to our classes you can enroll into our batches which are starting right away from this month itself so you can enroll into our uh, live online classes or if you are situated in Delhi are or are willing to come to Delhi you can also enroll into our physical classes here at our Delhi center uh, and you can start your preparation so if uh, this is the set of cards the memory cards which I was talking about which covers topics like architects and the works landscape features and uh, types of plants and their details and also say probably sta standards of CPWD national building code so these uh, aspects which you have to memorize that will be included in the in cards which you will need to study just one card per day and by the end also you will complete the full set of in cards within a span of say four months and you can still have a second cycle of revision of all the cards and towards the end you can also have a third cycle of revision by going through two to three cards per day so if you are starting right away from this month of january you will have a good enough time to memorize all the points which you will have to remember for the examination and one more important point which many of you miss out generally gate preparation even though it is focused towards the gate examination this preparation is going to be useful for your future examinations in architecture and planning say for instance the next five to ten years be it government examinations at state level government requirement examinations at central government level so all these requirement tests which are conducted by say ISRO, DDA, HPSC, PPSC, UPSC, UPPSC all these examinations are uh, offshoot of the gate syllabus so if you're kicking if you kick start a preparation from here it is going to be useful in the long run for all your competitive examinations in the future uh, and uh, the study material for instance, this is a snippet of a page from Building Construction, Building Construction Management the book, Building Management, uh, Building Construction Management for, for instance is a part of the common part and all the books are embedded with such QR codes. Wherever there is a concept which is slightly difficult to understand just by reading, there's an embedded QR code over there. You can just take up your mobile, scan the QR code and right away you'll be 
redirected to a video where that particular concept of that page is discussed in detail so that you have a 100% clarity on the aspects of points written in the books as well. So all our resources ranging from classes, study material embedded with QR codes, test series categorized into those all subject wise tests and also full length mocks all of these resources will be of the best possible quality which you can just utilize and orient your preparation in that direction and uh, as i mentioned the new batches for 2025 architecture and planning are already open you can get in touch with us on the whatsapp number you can call us or whatsapp messages on this number which is visible to you on the screen and our counselors will be glad to help you out uh, in your preparation in your journey for success for gate 2025 thank you